Good morning as we spring forward into daylight saving time. Thanks for remembering to wake up extra early with us on this March 8th. I'm Mike Strelo. Here's a look at what's ahead on CBS 58 Sunday morning. A Lego love story in West Bend. Christine Flores meets a couple who've built their relationship on a colorful foundation. Plus, Brittany Lewis hits the gym with a fitness expert focused on the differently abled. And later, Pauline Lee meets a medical professional who knows the value of a second act. Also ahead. You always have a hope, but it, 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 miracles do happen, and this is kind of a miracle. Who just gets to say they're behind the scenes at the airport? I mean, that's been pretty cool. A triumph on the tarmac. In our Sunday morning spotlight, a young Milwaukee man with autism who followed his passion for planes to new heights, thanks in part to a successful school-to-work partnership. But first, a hobby farm in Washington County accentuating the positive in growing smiles daily. Since our story first aired last fall, the farm has added 30,000 Instagram followers, has been contacted by a TV streaming service about possibly producing a documentary series and may even publish a children's picture book. Michael Schlesinger shows us how social media is helping an adventurous couple spread their juggling daisies message. It's magical. It's just like Disney only it's real. It's almost like you can hear the animals talk. Ready? Amy Zimmer's life is her animal's life. She and her husband, Kevin, run Juggling Daisy's Hobby Farm in Cedar Creek between West Bend and Slinger. The 17 goats, two cows, two donkeys. So it's right around 50 animals, plus all the chickens and the guinea hens. Do you have a favorite? I can never pick one. Every one of them has a different and unique personality here, so they're all really special. Zimmer is quick to point out what she runs here isn't a petting zoo exactly. These days, there's so many different words for farms. A lot of them are called homesteads. You know, but we're not living, we're not homesteaders, we're not living off our land. Everybody here is pets, so that's the part where it's truly a hobby farm. This is my hobby, this is my passion. And she shares the passion with loyal, dedicated Instagram followers through her daily live reports down on the farm. Oh, and there's Mina. So Mina is the one that's exclusive with Jonathan the rooster. They have their own little love relationship. Social media is important to you, isn't it? It's really important. That's really why we're doing this. We have a national audience, and it helps bring more awareness to animals and the, the passion behind them. Because you're just so curious. You're the farm buddy. Yeah. Are you enjoying your watermelon? Every single day there's some kind of surprise. And that's the best part of watching my lives too. Because I just, you just roll with it because it's live. So something different always happens and it's so funny. You gonna show them how the teeter totter works? <laughs> oh, oh, fudge. <laughs> One popular attraction people just can't get enough of is the relationship between Ernest the cat and a very special pig. The pigs are very social. So eventually, they'll probably just lay down right next to me here. They just love it. And then Ernest comes along, and I think they're just big and warm. And then he sits and kneads on them, and he licks their ears, and he grooms them. Do you think that's a natural state, or do you think it's just kind of a rare circumstance that they do this? Um, I think it's a rare circumstance that Ernest does it, but the pigs themselves, Cooney Cooney pigs, are very, very social. Um, so they're bred to be this friendly, and that they'll just stay right next to me. And it's not just the pigs by your side when the grain-free cookies appear. The donkeys really love them. And there's only four ingredients, so it's blueberry, cranberry, apple, and potato is what is in these. Yep. Can I try one of these? You could eat it if you really? want to. Yeah. <laughs> Leave it to the animals. Leave it to the animals. <laughs> <laughs> Juggling daisies popped up three years ago. The Zimmers owned property in the area and had heard about the land for sale. They knew they had to have it. The actual name, Juggling Daisies, came to them quickly, too. You got to juggle your struggle, but you got to keep on moving. The mission behind what they're doing falls right in line. You can't possibly have a bad day if you come out to these pastures. You just can't. Blood pressure drops. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. And one of my tagline is growing smiles daily. And that's what we do. We just share the love of the animals to help people smile and have a better day. You want your tummy right? The Zimmers don't consider themselves farmers. They're entrepreneurs. We live a very full life. And if we want to do something, we just go ahead and do it. So we never know exactly what's going to be around the next corner. You know, we 
have an opportunity right now and we're looking for maybe another co commercial rehab and so that'd be pretty exciting or maybe it'll be a residential one um, but we'll just always have a project in the works but I think I'll always have the animals as well and if they have their druthers there might be a few more animals added to the collection there's one more animal one more breed of sheep that I'm after and that would be a baby doll sheep and I have some plans for that and maybe a unicorn? And maybe a unicorn. My husband says if I ever find a unicorn, that I get it. So I'm always looking for the unicorn. Of course, this will be more work, but well worth it to them and probably everyone else who stops over for a visit. I would never say that it's hard because if it comes from the heart, you just, I mean, and these guys love it. So how can I not love it? <laughs>
From a blacksmith room with tools he's collected over the years to a cottage he built to house old furniture. Her father founded the farm in 1867. But he's taken on a new hobby with some of his older collectibles, pictures. I'll go all the way back to the 1970s. We had a local newspaper called the Shoreline Leader, and they had an out of the pass section and down memory lane. And I bought that newspaper every week because they had sports teams and they had historical pictures in there. Eventually, he bought his first picture collection, glass negative photos. No different than any kind of negative. But nobody uses them anymore. All this is obsolete. Now it's all digital. From there, he was hooked. And then it got me on this roll of looking for other collections. He then tried for 14 years to get pictures taken by the late Racine photographer Frank Strateski before his daughter finally agreed to sell them. Here, the entire studio was still there. Stratisky died in 1964. We're in the 1980s, and the studio was still all there. After making a few purchases, he decided to buy some old portraits they had lying around. Individual portraits and their family portraits, their uh, ball teams. I have a set of uh, graduation pictures. Karwowski says oftentimes people had multiple pictures taken, just not the money to pick them all up. Eventually, he had an idea. With the advent of Facebook and other social media, it was now possible to put pictures online and see if the people in them could claim them. I got phone calls. Oh, my God. Uh, th that's my sister. That's my grandmother. That's my aunt. And they were absolutely thrilled. He's now returned 12 photos, some to next of kin, others to people who are still alive. The picture was taken in the 50s, so he's probably my age, about 70. Karwowski does have a favorite picture return from a wedding. This particular picture here, the woman got married in 1940. Nearly 80 years after the picture was taken, he was able to find her. Pictures weren't picked up. She's still alive here in a nursing home at 101 years old, and she just got her wedding pictures back. Karwowski still has thousands of photos he hasn't even looked at, and he hopes this new attention can help him continue giving those back to people free of charge. They don't do any good sitting in a document box. They don't do piled up somewhere. They're meaningless. But when people can get some joy out of it, I know how I feel when I find a, a picture of me that I, I hadn't seen before. It's exciting. It's very exciting. You just can't hide building Lego. I mean, you got Lego around your house. You're an adult, and people think it's a kid's toy, and it really isn't. Coming up, a Lego love connection. You never know when your last day is going to be, so you have to live it to the fullest and the best way you can. And next, how a bright outlook and dedicated spirit combine to make magic on a basketball court. Milwaukee, from the lake to the suburbs, it's home. Our city has its own pulse, and we keep our finger on that pulse so we can give you an honest look at our city. Switch to CBS 58. Who closes the bus door? After the bus driver gets off. Constant Contact makes it so easy to create emails for your business, you'll have time to let your mind wander. Technically, he could close it, but his arm could get stuck. Is there a button? But how would he get to the... Wait, no. What? Try email marketing and our new website builder, free. Ah, tiny robots. Whoa. I am a nurse. A firefighter. A college student. A mother, and I am an American soldier. I will always be ready. For every storm and disaster that threatens my community, I will always be there to protect my neighbors, my family, and my country. We are the Army National Guard. We are the Army National Guard. We are the Army National Guard.
Visit NationalGuard.com to learn more about part-time service. Your vote is your voice, and your health is our business. Join Milwaukee Health Services Incorporated and Souls to the Polls for March to Health. Free screenings and health services available. Get registered to vote for the 2020 elections with a valid driver's license or state ID. Call Pamela Clark today. Our town belongs to us. We can't hope for safety. It's our job to deliver it. Today at noon on The M. Now, weekends are wilder than ever. With a competition so cutthroat, they are all going down. Obstacles so outrageous. Nice job, baby! And wipeouts so wicked, you won't believe it's only a game. This is crazy! So funny. Oh. It hurts. Wipeout Weekends. Today at 11 on the M. The Latino community remembers Cesar Chavez not only as a labor leader, but as a community organizer, as someone who wanted to build a sustainable community. Cesar Chavez's legacy is nonviolent and peaceful. When we joined Cesar Chavez in 1965, nobody understood that it would take us five years to win the first union contract, but we stayed with it. So as a farm worker leader, he showed us how to fight. Celebrate the life of Cesar Chavez, Sunday, March 8th at the Marcus Performing Arts Center. Are you ready? Experience the magic of March. Watch every championship game live. The WIAA championships play here. Brought to you by WMLWBM and these local sponsors. Everybody loves a good trick shot, right? No other sport lends itself to these mind-bending, jaw-dropping achievements than basketball. Since we first shared his story last fall, Ryan Neon Citro has been busy, including a performance at the NBA All-Star Game. Mike Kirkhoff highlights a multi-talented trick shot master from Cudahy who challenges himself and those he works with to make the impossible possible. Bang. It's fun to see what can happen. Just there's endless possibilities, and why not keep trying until you find your ceiling? Ryan Neon Citro apparently has no ceiling. He has no walls, no out of bounds, no limits at all to what he can do with the basketball or a trampoline or his imagination. He's a Milwaukee Bucks rim rocker, an Instagram trick shot star, a personal trainer at Bridgewater Performance, and the head diving coach at Oak Creek High School. And he'll brighten your day the moment he walks in. It's kind of my outlook on life is kind of look at everything from the bright side, aka I look pretty bright. All that neon started as compression socks to heal an ankle injury oh, and it grew from there. Oh, it's so good. Even just the feeling of I could walk into a room and somebody's like, wow, look at that. Like they're instantly going to think of something brighter, even if it's just like, wow, he's wearing bright colors instead of like a bad day they're having or something like that. <laughs> ah, there it goes. See? Well, I lost my dad to lung cancer in 2013. Um, so ever since then, it's been a, I guess you could say it always could be worse type of attitude, but it's also, you never know when your last day is going to be, so you have to live it to the fullest and the best way you can. He still hears his dad's words from the driveway at his childhood home in Cudahy. He goes, how about you stay in your range a little bit? Like any good dad, Ryan's would beat him in horse, shooting close range. Well, like most kids, Ryan and his brother would be shooting from the street. Every time, that's all I hear. <laughs> stay in your range, and I'm like, yeah. Everywhere is my range now. Ryan's Instagram page is full of shots using anything and everything he can find in his gym, Bridgewater Performance in Franklin. I usually sit right up in the center and I kind of just look around and... Do you need some more clients or what? You guys get not have Well, no, today? that's the thing. <laughs> we're, we're extremely busy here. It's just between the hours of 11 and three while well, all the kids are in school because we train a lot of athletes here so well they're all in school we gotta find something to do while we wait for them yeah. on instagram ryan makes it look easy he says if you think it's easy try it so i did no look Boom. half court nothing but net oh, yeah. we made it look easy but that took Ooh. about nine minutes and 67 oh, yeah. tries oh. There's a lot of that that goes on because we take anywhere from five to an hour and a half to do these. So there's a lot of in between. There's a day we come in and try one and it goes in first try and we're like, oh, that was great. Let's do three more. And I end up doing four shots in one day. There's ones where it's like this is going to take forever. 
Ian and the rest of the Bucks rim rockers make that look easy too. Applaud anybody that would like to come in and give that a shot too, because um, you've done it. Yeah, it's it. It was rough. It was, it was, it was a good, good time watching it. Um, <laughs> but like nobody really understands how much different our trampolines are than the ones you see in the backyard. They don't really give much. As part of the Rim Rockers, he's performed all over Wisconsin and all over the country, including NBA All-Star Games in New Orleans and L.A. L.A. was fun. That We unleashed a pass that actually got pass of the year for the world of acro dunk. What, um, what is the world of acro? The world of acro dunk is very interesting, actually. In fact, Team USA just won the acro dunk world championships in Budapest. This week, while we are eating lunch, the trick shot champion of Southeast Wisconsin is probably trying something crazy. I've gone from getting pushed on a sled to swinging on a bar to standing in a room that I can't even see a hoop. So it's kind of just thinking what's possible and just trying to see what happens. It breaks barriers, cultural barriers, language barriers. We meet the master builders of West Bend next. Milwaukee, the good land. Brew City. From the lake to the suburbs, it's home. We're a proud city of innovators, of brewers, bucks, and packers. Our city has its own pulse, its own beat. And we keep our finger on that pulse so we can give you an honest look at our city. Switch to CBS 58. This is going to be America's favorite breakfast. They just don't know it yet. These are a few of my favorite breakfasts. Wendy's is changing the game from this to a breakfast that eats other breakfasts for breakfast. Who says breakfast. you can't have a Baconator for breakfast? Don't just grab a coffee. Grab a Frosty Chino instead. And forget that frozen folded egg stuff. All of these have fresh cracked eggs. One bite and it'll be your new favorite. Guaranteed. That's right. So, you up for this? As a caricature artist, I appreciate what makes each person unique. That's why I like Liberty Mutual. They get that no two people are alike. And customize your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Almost done. What do you think? I don't see it. Only pay for what you need. Liberty, 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 Liberty. I'm Dr. Eric Presser, and I treat patients with mesothelioma. If you or someone you love has been diagnosed with mesothelioma or any asbestos-related lung cancer, I want you to have this free book. It's an invaluable resource to help you make important decisions about your family's future. I can't recommend this book enough. It will answer many of the questions you have, and it's free. Call 800-576-3222 or go to mesoanswers.com for your free book. That's 800-576-3222. Collector's Call, Season 2. I can honestly say this is a first. Bigger. We've got boats, we've got submarines, we have Barbies everywhere. Everywhere. Better. I have never seen anything like that. And with collections that will make you say... What a great story. It's Collector's Call, Season 2. You can find MeTV locally on the following stations. That's my promise to you, a promise to be here, to keep you prepared, no matter what the weather brings. Whether it's sun and clouds or sleet and snow, I won't let you get caught off guard. Year after year, Legos are at the top of children's wish lists of toys. The colorful and humble bricks are also a favorite among adults. They're the foundation of one couple's relationship. In fact, their collection will be displayed at the Model Train Show March 21st and 22nd at the Delavan City Hall. Christine Flores shares their Lego love. If you hop on board the Hogwarts Express at the Crans home, you won't just see witches and wizards. You'll also come across some West Bend staples, a taste of Christmas, and plenty of imagination. 
I'll build one of those little micro tower things. Oh yeah, how many of those do you have to build? Ten. Eric and Emily Kranz are unofficial yeah. Lego master builders. I did email <laughs> Lego and said, can I use master builder as a title? Are you guys okay with that? And they said, well, look into it, get back to you. And nobody ever got back to me. So <laughs> I am an unofficial master builder. I'm okay with that. And just like Emmett, the main character in 2014's theatrical hit, The Lego Movie, becoming a master builder opened the world to the young couple. I am a master builder. I was looking for somebody online. <laughs> My message went something like, if you are a bottom feeder, please do not respond. Because my husband is not a bottom feeder, he responded. And <laughs> I knew on that first date that it was either going to be something really special or we were going to be great friends for life. At the time, Eric had been building for about two years prior and had a humble collection of Legos. He continued building and I continued building. As a relationship grew, so did their collection. You just can't hide building Lego. I mean, you got Lego around your house, you're an adult, and people think it's a kid's toy, and it really isn't. The proposal included Emily's favorite childhood set with an added attachment. There's this thing on the back that looks like a little treasure chest. And I thought, well, did they put out a different version of this set? I don't know. And I open up the little treasure chest, and there's a ring waiting for me. And if you're wondering, the ring wasn't made out of Legos. They were, however, incorporated into their wedding, from the cake topper to the unity candle. Pastor was like, yeah, that's fine, no problem. Their living room has been turned into their Lego workshop, while their basement holds completed sets or work in progresses, high enough away from their little ones. Whoa, yeah. I do. Lego building is a hobby for the couple who do around six to ten shows a year with something new each time around. Their attention grabber tends to be their motorized Quidditch match. This Quidditch piece alone weighs about 40 pounds. With about 14,000 pieces, it took almost 16 months to complete. It was originally created as a standalone piece. Eric, being an engineer by trade, knew he could bring it to life. As my wife will put it, I was holed up in the basement like a mad scientist for several months. With so many things that twist and turn, it turned out to be a pretty awesome piece. Awesome enough to uh, win Best Mechanical Award at uh, Brickworld in Chicago of 2018. Emily's displays combine her love for Christmas villages and some local staples. Who do you guys blame when you guys end up stepping on a Lego? Oh, it's totally our fault. It, it, it could be our two-year-old, but it's, it's generally our fault. While the couple place a donation box along with their displays, they say it's not about generating revenue. Breaks barriers as far as like, you know, cultural barriers, language barriers, and the instructions have no words in them. It's all pictures, so anybody can see a, a shape and a color pretty much can put it put Lego together. Don't worry about am I good enough or man what they're doing looks awesome I could never do that. Mm -mm. Everybody starts somewhere. In our community calendar, CBS 58 is among the sponsors of the Cesar Chavez birthday celebration today at the Marcus Performing Arts Center. Building on the success of last year's inaugural event, the celebration includes art, essay, and spoken word contests. There's free admission, and seating is on a first-come, first-served basis. On Wednesday, two-time Grammy Award-nominated band The Lumineers perform at Buy, Sir Form. Part of its 2020 North American tour, the Denver-based Lumineers are known for their catchy folk rock sound. On Thursday, CBS 58 partners with Hunger Task Force for Match Madness MKE. Our phone bank volunteers will be taking calls throughout the day, and all donations to the local food pantry are matched dollar for dollar. On Friday, the annual Greater Milwaukee Golf Show tees off at the Wisconsin State Fair Products Pavilion. The show runs through the weekend and features exhibitors and vendors from around the country. And on Saturday, one of the oldest and longest-running St. Patrick's Day celebrations in the country marches through downtown Milwaukee. The 54th Annual Shamrock Club of Wisconsin St. Patrick's Day Parade includes more than 120 units stepping off from Old World 3rd Street and Wisconsin Avenue at noon. I always had a dream of working at the airport and working with airplanes. After the break, the perseverance and programs helping a young man soar. Safe 
communities work together. That's why CBS 58 and Milwaukee Crime Stoppers are partnering to give you a tool to work with local law enforcement. You could even get a reward. Join me every Thursday for the Crime of the Week on the CBS 58 News at 4. New CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk, a vegan foundation formulated without formaldehydes, phthalates, parabens, sulfates, and talc, giving me a healthy, natural look that says, this is me. Clean Fresh Skin Milk from Easy Breezy Beautiful CoverGirl. Nature's Recipe knows a dog's big life is measured in wags. So we carefully choose every ingredient, like chicken, sweet potato, and pumpkin to fuel their best life. Also try Nature's Recipe True Treats and Prime Blends. We made USAA insurance for members like Kate. A former Army medic made of the flexibility to handle whatever Monday has in store and tackle four things at once. So when her car got hit, she didn't worry. She simply filed a claim on her USAA app and said, I've got this. USAA insurance has made the way Kate needs it. Easy. She can even pick her payment plan, so it's easy on her budget and her life. USAA. What you're made of, we're made for. Why should you switch to U.S. Cellular? Because when you switch, you get a fast and strong network and a free Samsung Galaxy S25 G. It's the next generation of Galaxy phones with the first ever Space Zoom camera made to capture your world on a noticeably faster network made to let you share your world. Alone, they're great. Together, they're unbeatable. Switch today and get a free Samsung Galaxy S25 G. That's not just a smart choice, it's the fair choice. 5G now available in Wisconsin. Hunger Task Force helps to feed tens of thousands of local children. Now it's your chance to make a difference. Hunger Task Force and CBS 58 are proud to bring you Match Madness MKE. Tune in to CBS 58 all day Thursday, March 12th. We'll be live to take your calls and your donations. Best of all, your generosity will be matched dollar for dollar. So join us Thursday, March 12th and help provide healthy and nutritious food to local families and children. Visit HungerTaskForce.org slash Match Madness to learn more. On the next Big Bang Theory. I just had a seemingly endless dinner with your mom. That's nice. Until I found out you never told her we're not going to live with her. Hey, look, this pen is floating. How crazy is that? Ground control to Major Wallowitz. You're going to fix this. Or that thing I said I was going to do to you the minute you got home, you could do to yourself. In space, everyone can hear her scream. Power! Can you hear me? Well, space is ruined. Next Big Bang. Tonight at 6 on the M. We tell stories you'll only see here. Only on CBS 58. Important local stories are here first. First on CBS 58. End your day with something new and fresh. Switch to the CBS 58 News at 10. Ahead of World Autism Awareness Day on April 2nd, we're revisiting a young man with autism who, with the support of family, friends, and partnerships, is breaking down barriers to become an active participant in the field of aviation. In a story we first brought you a year ago, our Sunday morning spotlight is shining on Anthony Janopoulos. I've always been in love with airplanes and traveling. For as long as he can remember, Anthony Janopoulos has been fascinated with flight. When I was three years old, um, I wanted to like come to the airport and then my parents would like take me to the airport and just watch the planes come in. Anthony quickly moved beyond the words, look, there's a plane, to rattling off the make and model of every aircraft he saw. The 737, the um, Airbus A320, um, A319. Fueled by trips to flight museums, the EAA, and participation in various youth aviation programs, the fascination grew into a passion, which bolstered his confidence and desire to pursue a dream. I always had a dream of working and at the airport and being in working with airplanes. That dream was realized last summer when Anthony was hired by Quantum Aviation Services. We unload the cargo from the truck that comes and then we load it onto the plane. This 22-year-old operates a K-loader or pallet jack to load cargo onto planes at Milwaukee Mitchell International Airport. He also serves as a wing walker, guiding in DHL cargo planes with lighted batons in hand. Anthony's father, Mark um, Janopoulos. You always have a hope, but uh, miracles do happen, and this is 
kind of a miracle. Yes. Mark and his wife, Sean, adopted Anthony from Russia when he was just 14 months old. Although he hadn't been diagnosed, they sensed Anthony was on the autism spectrum. We saw signs with the videotape they sent us before we went there. But we realized that he'd be better off here and we can provide him services and, and assistance. And when he looked into our eyes, and he smiled and giggled. We knew he was ours. All right, Anthony, here is your boarding pass. CBS 58 Sunday morning first introduced Mark and Anthony at Mitchell Airport three years ago. Going through security. There you go. Go ahead and put it right in here, okay? And boarding a plane as part of Wings for Autism, Wings for All. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Delta's flight. An airport rehearsal program designed to alleviate the stress that families who have a child with autism or intellectual and developmental disabilities experience when flying. It was clear then that Anthony already had his sights set on a career in aviation. Become a dispatcher or a crash site investigator. Anthony immersed himself in all things aviation, reading flight manuals, crash reports, taking online courses through an aeronautical university, and sharpening his flying skills on various commercial aircraft with this home-based flight simulator. I spend on my flight simulator about 40 hours a week on it. He collects planes like we used to collect baseball cards on his flight simulator. He actually taught flight simulation at Civil Air Patrol for two years. He was the main instructor for uh, Timmerman Field Civil Air Patrol. Anthony is also Facebook friends with Delta Airlines Captain Glenn Cook. The two shared a memorable cockpit conversation during a chance encounter on board Anthony's favorite aircraft, a Boeing 777. It was like just a coincidence when I like, on the, when I met him at, at in Paris. I said, I'm Anthony, we're friends on Facebook, and then he immediately recognized me. He was a little like, you're his dad? I didn't know he had autism. I didn't know any of this. And then he said, I'm going to do the pre-flight checklist with him. And I said, can you do that, Anthony? And Glenn Cook said, he knows the MDL, which is, I didn't know what an MDL was. It's the computer. He goes, he knows it as good as I do. A new opportunity arose when Project Search launched its first airport base site here at Mitchell International. Anthony was quick to enroll in the successful school-to-work transition program for young adults with disabilities. What's your favorite task, Anthony? Sarah Block is a Project Search job developer with Goodwill Industries of Southeast Wisconsin. She was Anthony's skills trainer during the nine-month program that allows interns to rotate between three different jobs. They also go through an orientation where they focus on job readiness primarily, and then along throughout the year they do mock interviews, participate in on-the-job training, and they have a training room period where they do some classroom work as well. It got me learning a lot about like job and like like what how to like act and do on do on the job mm -hmm. what it gave him is it gave him the opportunity and the soft skills that he needed to be a good employee he had rotations here at the airport and he realized things that he really wanted to do and he realized things that he really didn't want to do but as long as he was at the airport he, it was he calls it his happy place what Anthony really wanted was to be around planes. He earned that opportunity last July with Quantum Aviation Services. Paul Sprangers is the business area manager for Quantum. Uh, Anthony has been great. Uh, he's always helpful. He's here on time. I know I can count on him to be here every day. One of our employees has kind of taken him under her wing and helped guide him and, and be uh, uh, an on-site mentor for him. It's nice working with Anthony. Uh, that mentor is Nilda Vasquez. He gets along with everyone. Um, he likes to, he's real helpful. He likes to help everybody. Sarah Block now serves as Anthony's job coach. I only check in really once a month now with him, so that's been the biggest improvement is that independence. To see it behind the scenes, I mean, that's a dream come true. So to watch that dream come true, it's really been fun. There is no way he would have been uh, successful in getting these positions without project search. It is here at his happy place that Anthony is building on his successes and holding on to that dream of someday becoming an aircraft dispatcher.
not to be like a, a corny or anything, but the sky's the limit with Anthony for sure because he just pushes himself to that next level. You'll find today's stories and those from previous episodes at cbs58.com slash Sunday morning. And please send your story ideas to Sunday morning at cbs58.com. Come on. I like to always on, say Joe. we can change the impossible into I impossible. Coming up, the trainer providing heartfelt fitspiration. Experience the magic of March. Watch every championship game live. The WIAA championships play here. Brought to you by WMLWDM and these proud sponsors. Gruber Law Offices. Everybody treated me with respect. Um, they understood the situation I've been in. You could tell that they've dealt with it before, so they knew exactly what to do. One call, that's all. Gruber Law Offices was spectacular. Four years ago, I felt awful because of my psoriasis. I was covered from head to toe with it. I was afraid to show my skin. Every time I moved my arm, my skin cracked and bled. It really hurt. Then I started Cosentix. That was four years ago. How are you? Now, I don't really think about it. See me. Cosentix works fast to give you clear skin that can last. Real people with psoriasis look and feel better with Cosentix. Don't use if you're allergic to Cosentix. Before starting, get checked for tuberculosis. An increased risk of infections and lowered ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor about an infection or symptoms. If your inflammatory bowel disease symptoms develop or worsen, or if you've had a vaccine or plan to, serious allergic reactions may occur. See me. I look and feel better. Ask your dermatologist if Cosentix could help you move past the pain of psoriasis. Now, weekends are wilder than ever. With a competition so cutthroat, they are all going down. Obstacles so outrageous. Nice job, baby! And wipeouts so wicked, you won't believe it's only a game. This is crazy! So funny. No! It hurts. Wipeout Weekends. Today at 11 on the M. You're watching WMLW, the M. The M means Milwaukee. A fitness trainer is helping individuals he calls differently abled one rep at a time. This morning, Brittany Lewis hits the gym with the founder of Able 365, Antonio Foray. You ready? Yes, Let's sir. go. Straight down. To know what one's capable of. Jump up. Down. You have to push some boundaries. Come on. Try something that seems impossible. You know, I like to always say we can change the impossible into I impossible. So and go. do that. You said Joe's goal was to get back in prosthetics, right? Joseph Reed is a quadruple amputee. My caught meningitis at the age of two and a half years old, and they had to amputate my limbs in order to save my life. He was working at Walmart when the man encouraging him now this is your mom. asked if he could help him work out. And he looked at me like almost teary-eyed, and he was like, I never thought I could. In the world of Eminem, if you have an opportunity, you seize it. <laughs> Four. Bye. This opportunity Caesar had crossed paths with an opportunity maker. Come on, come on. Antonio Foray has been a trainer for 20 years. And as I was training different clients at the gym, every once in a while I would see someone who was handy capable. And I would see them trying to manipulate the equipment or trying to work out, you know, but it just wasn't working out with them. So I just asked them, you know, first, hey, you mind if I help you or maybe if you try it this way. After so many times, I just started to think to myself, why is it that they don't have a gym that they can be comfortable at, you know, amongst their peers and still get the same workout as you and I? Mm -hmm. And so after you ask why so many times, you either just stand still or you try to make a change. Come on! So he furnished his living room with workout benches and weights. Good stuff, baby! 
and crossed out the dis and disable, creating ABLE 365. ABLE 365 is a campaign or challenge to raise revenue for a gym, which will be a gym that's specifically modified and spaced out for the differently able. So anyone with a physical or cognitive, you know, ailment. Try to keep that back straight. The dream that he envisions. I can actually see the facility is a place where people of all abilities can work out just simple adjustments or fabrications that they can have somewhere where they can feel healthy just like you and i they receive the same effect as you and i after working out so why don't they have the possibility or the opportunity to there's not a lot of gym places that have the equipment for people who are disabled who want to work out and keep up the same motivation as somebody who have their hands and legs Foray is raising money for the gym through a campaign called A Million for a Million. It's for every rep that I complete, somebody can donate a dollar. Or for every dollar donated, I'll complete a rep. One, two. In the meantime, his clients Three. come to his living room. And they range from a quadruple amputee, uh, then a young lady by the name of Ebony Jones. She's, a, she's conquering cerebral palsy, as she likes to say. I have several wheelchair users. Or he goes to them. That's my man. Yeah, I load up my truck and I'll take some equipment to them. You know, I believe that they should be able to experience the same thing as you and I after working out. His clients inspiring and encouraging him. And I feel like I'm not doing a lot, right? But they let me know, you know, what you're doing is very much so needed. So we're gonna do the five, boom. Do the five, boom. While he pushes them. Sometimes I feel a little selfish because I get so much gratification from it. Just somebody telling me, you know, I didn't think I could, or, you know, a person even told me once, you know, I really just thought about committing suicide. I didn't feel like, you know, I was worth anything, you know, at least my former self. You know, so just being able to let somebody realize, hey, you do have a second chance or you can take that initial step. It just takes a little effort. Another 10, let's go. Down. To turn the impossible into I'm possible. Come on. Last set. This week in Wisconsin history, it was March 11, 1959, when the acclaimed stage play A Raisin in the Sun premiered on Broadway. The production, authored by University of Wisconsin graduate Lorraine Hansberry, told the story of a black family living in Chicago while struggling against racism and housing discrimination. Originally from Chicago, Hansberry moved to Madison in 1948, where she became one of a very small number of black students at the university. It was there where a play she saw about a family of Irish immigrants inspired her to write about the lives of black Americans. Hansberry moved to New York, where her first play struck a chord and found an audience. She was the first black woman to have a play produced on Broadway, and it was an all-around success, opening to widespread praise and earning an award for Best Play of 1959. Sadly, Hensbury died of cancer at just 34 years old, but her most popular work has lived on, revived and adapted several times over the years for stage, television, and film. We're a throwaway society. We throw it away and we don't know what happens to it. And I don't like that. When others are done with it, Joe Reland is ready to find a new use. Everyday Heroes is a way to get out into the community and show that people are doing things that make a difference every day. Everyone has a way that they can make Southeast Wisconsin a better place. Natalie's Everyday Heroes, Wednesday at 10. There are rising reports of a zombie outbreak across the area. The National Guard Sometimes you just want to stay in. Enjoy the great taste of Dunkin' at home. What do you think this is? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. It's a mm -hmm. fat. Are you struggling with stubborn, diet-resistant body fat? I would love to lose this here. My hips. Right here. I've always had a tummy problem. What if you could actually remove the fat permanently? And in just one visit, introducing you by trusted Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I'm calling Sonobello right away. 
Schedule your free no-obligation consultation now. Plus, find out how you can get $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, back, even your thighs. Call 1-888-367-7922 or go to Sonobello.com. I'm Dr. Eric Presser, and I treat patients with mesothelioma. If you or someone you love has been diagnosed with mesothelioma or any asbestos-related lung cancer, I want you to have this free book. It's an invaluable resource to help you make important decisions about your family's future. I can't recommend this book enough. It will answer many of the questions you have, and it's free. Call 800-576-3222 or go to mesoanswers.com for your free book. That's 800-576-3222. Our town belongs to us. We can't hope for safety. It's our job to deliver it. Today at noon on The M. Are you ready? Experience the magic of March. Watch every championship game live. The WIAA championships play here. Brought to you by WMLWDM and these local sponsors. You're watching WMLW, the M. The M means Milwaukee. By day, a Milwaukee man helps spread the gift of life through organ donation. On nights and weekends, he creates works of art from things people no longer need. As Pauline Lee shows us, his nothing lost or wasted approach provides a unique and inspiring work-life balance. I rarely find people that can say that they love their job as much as I do. There comes a time when the things we have just aren't needed anymore. I can honestly say I make a difference in people's lives. But if you're going to part with it... So this is the right kidney. Joe Reeland hopes you'd choose to be an organ donor to help others. I think it's, why wouldn't you want to? As the senior organ recovery specialist at Versity Blood Center of Wisconsin, Joe does just that. I'm helping coordinate the whole recovery aspect, making sure that the organs get to where they're going. On any given day, he could be out in hospitals. Helping out the surgeons, actually physically removing the organs for transplant purposes. No leaks, so we're good to go now. Other times, he could be back here at the office, prepping organs for the recipients in need. It's basically preserving the kidney for an extended amount of time outside of the body. Things are busy this year. It is a good thing because there's more word in the community that organ donation is a good thing. What he does is rewarding. People are walking today, people are talking today, and that's powerful. That's really a strong thing to know that you're actually making a difference. But the days can be long and emotionally taxing. We wait for the next donor. I go home, get some rest. Ironically, his rest and relaxation is doing more of the same, but with a slight twist. Taking someone, something that someone has done with and doing something really cool with it. That's a good way of putting it. I call this my therapy. His workshop in Oak Creek is filled with things people don't need anymore. It is my treasure trove, for sure. Treasures that someone could still find useful. We're a throwaway society. We throw it away, and we don't know what happens to it. And, and I don't like that. From old crates used before World War II. This was used at, in a company in Milwaukee. To old flooring that once led the way to the world's greatest achievements. The wood down here on the lower side, that's from the Chicago World's Fair. There's also wood from the old Chrysler Automotive plant in Kenosha. Pulleys from a dam in central Wisconsin. I have old lighting, industrial lighting. So everything in here, you can envision into something new. Yep. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> everything in here, he can repurpose into works of art. I just go with whatever, whatever my mind takes me. So no limits here? No. His love for making reclaimed furniture started when he wanted something unique for his home. Looked online. I wasn't going to pay what they wanted. And I'm like, well, I can build that. Pretty soon, people just had to have his work in their own homes. And 
area businesses too, like Shore Acres Pro Shop in Illinois. Knowing that someone is seeing the artistic value in what I build here, that's extremely gratifying. So he decided to open his own business, Redefined & Co, about four years ago. I'm usually here in the evenings and the weekends. But even when he's in his workshop, his other work is constantly on his mind. I have checked kidney pump numbers from my workshop, yes. <laughs> so much so that he says he'd never table one for the other. No, I don't think I would give one up because it's a really good balance. Both putting his skills to good use, both giving him a sense of gratification that is beyond rewarding. You're taking something that someone has done with that they, no one really wants, but you're making something really cool out of it. And now, a moment in Wisconsin at Richfield Historical Park, home to Coney Creek and several historic buildings maintained by the Richfield Historical Society. Here's a look at what's coming up next week on an all-new edition of CBS 58, Sunday morning. When you want to succeed, all universe conspires to help you. I write my goals down and I chase them and things don't always go as smooth and I make a lot of mistakes, but within the, the mistakes and failures are, those are the, the secrets right there. A success story in the kitchen. How Truman McGee turned a weight loss effort into a new business while inspiring a community. The secret sauce behind funky fresh spring rolls at Milwaukee's Sherman Phoenix. For something new under the sun, CBS Sunday Morning with host Jane Pauley is next. Thank you for sharing part of your morning with us. I'm Mike Stralo. Please join us again next weekend for CBS 58 Sunday Morning. CBS 58 is growing. Every Saturday and Sunday, we're giving you a full hour of news at 10. More news, more ready weather, more sports. The CBS 58 News.